Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shaisa's Crochet. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful poncho for 0 to 6 month old baby. This is very easy and it is very good to uh, crochet. Even the beginner can crochet this pattern very quickly. If you want to make the bigger size, you can change the foundation uh, chains number. If you add more chains, you will get the bigger size. So all the measurements and all I have explained in the tutorial. Uh, to watch more uh, other models on the poncho, I'll give you the link below in the description box. And to make the pom pom also, I'll give you the link below in the description box. Please go through that. Also, if you are first time in my channel, please click the bell icon along with the subscription button. So whenever I upload new videos, you will get. Also, uh, don't forget to share my videos with your friends. And if you have any comments, you can uh, put it in the comment section or you can send um, messages in uh, Instagram. Uh, Shaysa's Crochet is the Instagram ID. So let's start our project. For this project, I have taken here uh, two colors of yarn. This is 100% acrylic. This is olive green color and this is a yellow color. Measuring tape, stitch marker and the needle to sew the edges 3mm hook size and we need to have pairs of scissors we'll start this project with the slip knot we'll make chain one now i got here including with these three chains 46 double crochet stitches and to the next this is the 47th one make the double crochet Let's make two chain again inside one more double crochet. This is the 47th uh, chain. Now again we are going to make one double crochet into the next and to the next one double crochet till we reach this last chain. Here I have finished 46 double crochet stitches. This is our last stitch. And 47th one let's make one double crochet again chain two yarn over and to this we'll make one more double crochet now let's do the slip stitch into the third chain that's the end of this draw so here we have made uh, two corners 46 we have on the other side and here also 46 for the next row let's turn this project like it is because uh, we are not at this corner so let's turn this project and we'll do the slip stitch into the very next chain just to travel to this center inside this we'll make one single crochet chain two yarn over and so the same space let's insert the hook and pull up the yarn yarn over two three and four yarn or pull through all these loops including this chain one again chain three one two three yarn over inside this we'll make one two three four and five yarn over pull through all these chain one to secure now we are going to make three chain one two three we'll skip the next three double crochets one two three into the fourth yarn over we'll make one double crochet again chain three yarn over into the same space for the stitch we'll make one double crochet again chain three one two three skip the next three uh, double crochets one two three into the fourth we'll make one single crochet chain three one two three yarn over skip the next three double crochets one two three into the fourth we'll make a double crochet one then three chain again inside we'll make one more double crochet And then again chain 3 we'll skip the next three double crochets that's one two three into the fourth we'll make a single crochet chain. so same like this we are going to repeat till this 
corner now we made here three chain and to the last double crochet or the fourth chain let's make one single crochet yarn over insert the hook into this one two three four and five yarn over pull through all these chain one to secure three chains again yarn over inside this way again yarn over one two three chain one one two three now same like here what we did after this puff we did a V then yarn over skip the one two three three into the fourth we'll make one double crochet chain three yarn over into the same we'll make a double crochet again we are going to continue the same pattern one two three into the fourth we'll make a single crochet again chain 3 yarn over into the fourth one two three fourth we'll make a double crochet so let's continue the same pattern till the end of this row now let's make three chain one two two one two three three chain we'll do the slip stitch into the third chain and we'll do the slip stitch into the next stitch and then we'll reach at the center we'll do a single crochet one two yarn over one two three and four yarn over pull through all these chain one to secure three chain again yarn over inside this again one two three four and five yarn over pull through all these loops and then chain one to secure okay. now let's make four chain one two three four yarn over now into this v stitch we are going to make a double crochet one two three four five five six and seven here we made seven double crochet stitches again let's make four chain one two three four chain into the single crochet we'll make a single crochet again four chain one two three four yarn over into this way we'll make seven double crochet one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Four chain, and then we'll do the single crochet into this single crochet. So same like this. We are going to repeat till the end of this row. Now let's make the slip stitch into the third chain. One, two. Three. we'll do the slip stitch now let's do slip stitch into the next and then into the space one slip stitch chain one two three yarn over one two three four yarn over pull through all chain one again chain three yarn over one two three four and five yarn over pull through all chain one two three four five six seven and then here we have seven double crochet and let's skip this first double crochet and to the next we'll make one single crochet one two three four and the fifth one is here again chain seven one two three four five six seven and we'll move to this cluster stitch leave the first and into the second one single crochet into the second one 
into the third one fourth one so one two three four and five again say seven chains one two three four five six seven let's move to the next cluster leave the first and to the second we'll make one single crochet one two three four and five again seven chains three four five six seven we'll make on the top of this five single crochets leave the first and last one so you'll get five one two three four and five so same like this we are going to repeat till the end of this row once we reach this point we will increase same like this row round two and one and then we'll continue with the seven chain and the single crochet now let's do the slip stitch into the third chain that's the end of this row so we have finished here round one two three again let's do the slip stitch into the next and then inside this we'll make one single crochet chain one two three yarn over into the same one two three four one two three yarn over again into this one two three four and five chain one to secure one two three chains now here we have seven uh, chains in between so let's make into the fourth one one two three four into the fourth yarn over let's make a double crochet we are going to make v stitch then again three chain yarn over inside this we'll make one more double crochet again three chain one two three let's keep the first single crochet into the next we'll make one single crochet and then into the next one this is the second one and to the next one so we got three single crochet stitches now let's make three chain one two three now here in between we have seven chains one two three into the fourth yarn over we'll make a v stitch one one two three inside we'll make one more double crochet let's make three chain one two three and to the second one we'll make one single crochet and to the next we'll make one single crochet and to the third we'll make one single crochet again okay? chain three one two three into the fourth one two three into the fourth yarn over we'll make one double crochet chain three one two three yarn over and to the same stitch we'll make one more double crochet now again chain three one two three then we are going to repeat the same pattern till the end of this row here i have reached at the end of this row let's make chain one and we'll snip off this yarn if you are going to continue with the same color you don't want to snip off the yarn you can continue as it is now i'm going to change the color that's why i snipped off now let's insert the hook into this and attach the yarn the second color here we'll make one single crochet inside this pull this one down again chain one two yarn over inside this one two three and four yarn over pull through all chain one again three chain yarn over inside this again we'll make four times one five times one two three four and five now chain one again chain one two three four yarn over into this we'll make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven again let's make four chain one two three four we'll make a single crochet into this 
and then again chain 4 1 2 3 4 yarn over inside this will make 7 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so now we are going to repeat the same pattern till the end of this row this row resembles here the row number 2 so then we will follow the row number 3 and 4 with the yellow and then again we will change the color to green then we will do 1 2 3 4 rounds with the green again with the yellow till we get our desired size for the broncho so I have here finished 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sets of the pattern and the 7th one I just stopped with the 3 single crochet on this uh, side. Now let's measure this. The length comes like 14 inches or the height and here the width is 9 inches. Now we are going to make the space to insert the lace so that we can uh, tie it for that I'm going to use the same color yarn, the green color. Let's insert into this center. Chain 1 to secure. Again chain 1, 2, yarn over. Into the next, we'll make one double crochet. Into the next, we'll make one double crochet. And then we'll make chain 2. Here we'll skip to 1, 2 and to the third we'll make one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the third one double crochet chain two again we'll skip the next two one two into the third we'll make one into the next the second one to the next third one so three double crochets chain two skip two and then again three double crochets this is how we are going to repeat till the end of this row now for the last stitch let's make three chain one two three and then we'll do the slip stitch into the second double crochet chain one we'll snip off this yarn let's start now with the hoodie for that I'm going to count from here this is our uh, center stitch one two three four let's insert the hook into this fourth one and then we'll attach this yarn chain one two yarn over insert the hook into this we'll make three double crochets one two and this is the third one we will consider this uh, three chains as the first double crochet now chain one two three yarn over into the space we'll make three double crochets one two three and then chain three one two three yarn over inside this again we'll make three double crochets one two three chain three one two three yarn over inside the space we'll make three double crochet one two three chain three yarn over inside this will make three double crochet one two three chain three here i have reached at the end of this row we have only three more space to reach the center on the other side also we have three spaces to reach the center now let's turn the project and then and to the same stitch we'll insert the hook and make one single crochet and insert the hook into the second loop of this we'll make one more single crochet again insert the hook into the second loop we'll make one more single crochet this is going to be our first stitch now over inside this we'll make one double crochet and one more double crochet now chain three yarn over into each space we will make double crochet stitches or one cluster stitch and when we reach this point here we will make three chain and two double crochet inside and here we will make only one double crochet so we are going to repeat the same pattern till we get our desired 
height for the hood so here I have finished 10 rounds of the same pattern and we are at the 11th round and also I have marked the center uh, stitch just to make the decrease in this point so if you make the decrease in this point we will get to the hood very nicely it will not be looking like a square or an ankle it will be coming in like a oval shape for that I'm going to make the um, decrease in this point and it measures uh, 6 inches from this to here it measures 6 inches so for that this are center stitch this and this one so yarn over into this will make one double crochet yarn over into the center will make one double crochet and remove this stitch marker again here we will make one more double crochet so three chain and then here we made the decrease now again three chain one two three yarn over into each space will make same like before the double crochets and we are going to make one more round with the same pattern let's make chain one and we'll snip off this yarn we'll leave little longer yarn to sew this uh, edges and then we will snip it off we can keep like this and we will sew this together using the yarn needle we have here this one so let's start sewing it Here we have made the hoodie for the poncho and it looks like this. Now we are going to make it a lace. Before that I have made the pom pom to attach on it. To make the pom pom I will give you the link in the description box. You can just go through that. And I have taken 4 strands of uh, same yarn, olive green yarn. And the hook size I am going to use is 5mm. Let's make a slip knot. and we will start making chain I have made here 72 chains now we are going to insert this is our center point so let's insert the hook from inside we will take this here and then we are going to insert into the next and then
so here our prawn jo is ready i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please hit the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you